What is up my dude and dudettes and welcome back to TellerTube. In today's video we're going to be looking at the subreddit r slash choosing beggars. If you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And with that being said sit back relax and enjoy the video. Entitled mom demands face masks I'm giving away for free. Okay, I've been sewing fabric face masks and either donating them to the fire department that requests them or putting them on my lawn for anyone to take for free. I'm a slow sewer so it takes many hours to make a small batch. I posted on Nextdoor that anyone is welcome to take but limit to two per person unless they tell me they need more. I've been putting 6 to 12 out a day a couple times per week for the last few weeks and people seem to appreciate it. So my doorbell rings and I assume she's here to leave a donation for the masks which a couple people have done. I have to tell her to back away from the door before I open it to social distance. EP for entitled parent or choosing beggar. Hi, I was wondering if you have cuter patterns for the masks. Uh, not really, sorry. I can't wear these masks though, I'm not a fan of those colors. Well, they're free, it's a take what's there type of thing. I would be happy to make you a custom one for a price. I don't think it's fair to only have a few styles. Please be more considerate about others' preferences. Sorry about that, I'm using up fabric I have on hand. It's fine. I'll like a mint floral one and an all black one too for a hubby. And my daughter loves Mickey Mouse. I actually never considered making children's size masks for some reason. Oh wow, I need to put out some kid sizes too. Give me your email and I'll give you a price. I should be able to make quite a few of each too. I'll only charge for the fabric. Price? Shouldn't they be free? I mean the ones here are free. Confused and annoyed? Never mind. They're free, you don't have to take them. Have a nice day. I go back inside, slam the door, and watch her from the window. She stood there for a few seconds dumbfounded, then walked up to the masks, took all six, and drove away. I was so angry I ran outside to cuss her out at taking them and wasting my time but she was already in her car by then. I hate people sometimes. <laughs> Okay, that's a little greasy, Karen. Well, since you're already donating free masks, I want three custom ones. But I'm not gonna pay ya. No, we're not going to replace your $120 phone with a $1,200 phone. I work at a phone store, so I deal with entitled customers all the time. But I had this one old guy today that drove me insane with how entitled and ungrateful he was. This old guy walked up to my desk immediately yelling at me about how his phone battery wasn't lasting very long and demanded I give him a new one before even giving me the opportunity to look at it. I explained to him that the batteries wear out over time, they don't hold the same amount of charge as they do when they are new. Other than that, I tested the phone, his phone was completely fine. He then said that I was trying to BS him and that the phone was defective. Again, he told me that I was going to give him a new one. I then explained to him that if he believes the phone is defective, he could contact the manufacturer as it is still covered by the manufacturer warranty, as one would for literally any other product. He then started freaking out, pulling the old, I bought it here and I'm not calling some other company, and you guys don't give a damn about my 15 year loyalty here, and all that generic Karen BS. I then decided I'd see if I could help him out, so I told him that if he wants to wait around a bit, I could make a few calls to see if there was anything I could do. He even got mad at that and was like, You expect me, a 15 year customer, to just wait around while you chit chat on the phone all day? He then said he was leaving and told me to call him back when I could give him a new phone. I spent the next hour on the phone with like three different departments trying to get this booger a new phone that he absolutely did not deserve. In the end, I got his remaining payments on his phone waived, but I got him a new phone for free. Since we don't have the exact phone he had anymore, he was going to even get the newer version of it. Keep in mind, we work on commissions, so the entire time I was trying to help this guy, I was losing out on sales. So that's an hour less of sales that ends up in my check to pay my bills. I called him and then he told me to wait for him as he was going to be back in 10 minutes. He ended up showing back up about 40 minutes later, wasting even more of my time. I thought he would be happy when I told him the news, but instead he looks at me with a disgusted look and says, You guys think you're just going to give me another cheap phone after all the inconvenience you caused me? A 15 year loyal customer. No, at this point I deserve a Note 10 Plus, and I'm not leaving until I get the phone I deserve for all the money I've spent there over the years. For some perspective, this guy had an unlimited plan he was paying $55 a month for, which was dirt cheap for what he was getting. Just the phone he wanted for free cost $53 per month. 
At this point, I'm unbelievably frustrated, but trying to keep my composure. I said, Sir, we're already waiving all your payments on your old phone and giving you a better phone for free. Not even was he getting a better phone for free, he was going to save money on his bill from his last phone being paid off. He then started screaming again. I've been a customer for 15 years and you just made me wait 2 hours and you won't even give the phone I want. You millennials don't know crap about customer loyalty. I'm leaving you buggers for another company that actually respects its loyal customers. At this point, I'm just thinking of the most corporate way of saying don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. And I ended up saying, Well sir, we'd hate to see you go, but if you believe you can do better at another company, I don't want to stop you from finding what company fits your needs best. He then swore at me for another couple minutes, then left. <laughs> oh chief. So you're asking for a new phone that seems to already be working fine, and then when they find you a new phone and also waive the fees off your old phone, it's not good enough. Shake my head. Free gas and electric, or I will take it to the ombudsman. So I work for an energy company and I get a lot of annoying requests. I currently work in the prepayment meter department. This is a summary of a conversation I had with a customer choosing beggar recently. Choosing beggar. I need to top up my electric meter. There's a quarantine and I don't want to risk my life to top up by going to the post office. Me. Okay, no problem. Most of our top up locations are following strict social distancing rules, but if you don't feel comfortable going outside your home, I could load money onto a new key and send it to you either 3 day delivery or next day delivery depending on how much credit you have left on your meter. How much would you like to top up your meter? Well, I'll obviously need at least 180 to get me through the next few months. Okay, no problem. Have you got your payment details handy? No, I don't have any money at the moment as there's a quarantine on if you didn't notice. Oh, okay, that's fine. We can give you an advance on what you normally top up, which from your account balance is 60 a month, which should give you some time to collect the money for your next top up together. I can set the debt recovery rate at £3.70 a week minimum, which will be loaded onto the meter after 3-5 to five top ups so you won't have to start paying it back for a few months at least as you only top up once a month. What on earth do you mean pay it back? Well, it is an advance, so we'll loan you the money to top up and then you can pay us back by just topping up your meter as normal in a few months time. Don't worry, we don't charge interest for an advance, there's no hidden fees or anything. No, you're not listening. I don't want to owe you money or pay anything back. That's not how it works. You don't have a heart, I'm just a little old lady. Just send me a free prepaid key with 180 on it by tomorrow. Note, I can see on her account she is 47 years old. Um, I'm afraid I can't give you 180 credit for free. It's got to be set for you to pay it back. Excuse me, my son is a key worker at a supermarket and he needs to have a peace of mind while working that his mother is taken care of. I will tell all of my friends on Facebook that you did this for me and it will be really good publicity. You are out of your minds thinking I'm going to pay for my electric at a time like this. I'm really sorry, but I can't give out money without setting a debt recovery rate and the debt signal to your meter only gets picked up after 3-5 to five top ups anyway, so you would only be paying it further down the line. If you need financial support, please contact the National Debt Line or the Citizens Advice Bureau to see if there are any energy payment grants available in your area. We've also got an energy efficiency department that can help you to manage your usage. This is absolutely ridiculous and downright cruel that you would ask for me to pay. I want to speak to your manager right now. I'm afraid I can't do that as my manager will tell you the same thing. We cannot give out free money, we can only provide advances for you to pay back at a later date. Anyway, we're working from home at the moment and our managers don't have it set up for calls to be transferred to them currently. I want to raise an official complaint now. I'm going to take this to the ombudsman. Your treatment of paying customers during this difficult time is appalling. But ma'am, you just said you weren't willing to pay. Choosing Pegger slams her phone down. I called my manager afterwards to explain what happened in case it came back to bite me in the butt and she requested the recording of the call to be sent to her as she needs a good laugh and said she'll back me up if the customer tries to take it further. <laughs> oh man. Karen, they're not just gonna give away free money so you can pay your electric meter. Come on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button as it would really help me out. Subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.